Welcome to the nutrition part of the Ornish Spectrum. The point of the Spectrum is to provide you with information that you can use to make informed and intelligent choices about the foods you eat. You're in control. Foods are neither good nor bad, but some are clearly healthier for you than others. What matters most is your overall way of eating and living. So if you indulge yourself one day, it doesn't mean you cheated or you're bad or you failed, just eat healthier the next. We have this whole moralistic language around food. You know, I cheated on my diet, I ate bad food. It's a very small step to thinking of yourself as a bad person once you eat bad food and you might as well finish the pint of ice cream. So rather than saying, eat this and don't eat that, what I've done is I've categorized foods from the most helpful foods, what I call group one, to the least helpful, group five. You really have a spectrum of choices. If you're trying to reverse heart disease or other chronic diseases, you'll be eating exclusively on the group one, healthiest end of the spectrum. It's the pound of cure, a plant-based diet. If you're otherwise healthy, you have a spectrum of choices. You know, we all have our favorite treats because life is to be enjoyed. I happen to love chocolate. Uh, it kind of runs in my family. And so what I do is I find the darkest, fattiest, richest, most gourmet chocolate and have a small piece of it. And I invoke all my senses the way that you would if you're drinking a fine wine. I look at the color, I smell it, I savor it, I allow it to melt on my palate and, and my tongue and just to stay there for a few minutes. And then I can get a huge amount of pleasure with relatively few calories. On the other hand, if I eat while watching TV or watching a movie, I can go through an entire meal and look down at the plates empty and it's like, who ate this? And so it's not just what you eat in this program, it's also how you eat. When you eat mindfully, you get more pleasure with fewer calories. You know, what you include in your diet, what you do eat, is as important as what you exclude or don't eat. Because it turns out there's hundreds of thousands of protective substances in some foods that help to prevent cancer and heart disease and even to slow the aging process. And where do you find these protective substances? You find them mainly in the usual suspects, in fruits and vegetables and whole grains, legumes and soy products. For example, blueberries can actually make you smarter. And we did a study where we found that pomegranate juice may begin to reverse heart disease in just a few months, just a glass a day. And three or four grams a day of fish oil can reduce your possibility of dying from a heart attack by up to 80%. And if you take fish oil when you're pregnant or nursing, it can actually increase your baby's IQ by many points. It can also reduce the incidence of attention deficit disorders and depression, as well as reducing your risk of prostate and breast cancer. On the other hand, things like red meats and saturated fats are not only bad for your heart, they're also bad for your brain, especially the parts of your brain that control memory and your energy level. So an optimal diet is high in the healthy carbs, such as fruits and vegetables and whole grains, things like whole wheat and brown rice, legumes, soy products, non-fat dairy, and egg whites in their natural forms. It's low in the unhealthy carbs, like sugar and white flour, white rice, white flour pasta, and it's low in the saturated fats and the animal proteins. If you're trying to reverse heart disease, the best results come from limiting total fat consumption to about 25 grams per day from plant-based sources. Otherwise, you have a spectrum of choices. As long as you're moving in a healthier direction on the food spectrum overall, you'll feel better and you'll look better. This is personalized based not on me telling you what you should be doing, but rather you telling me how much you want to change, to what degree, and in how many things. And we'll support that degree of change. And if that degree of change is enough for you to get to where you're going, great, you're there. If not, you can do more.